Welcome to the part two of the free website design course where I showcase you how can you design a stunning uh, website, restaurant website like this from scratch in go higher level. Ladies and gentlemen, in the last video, we saw that how can you create this stunning homepage of this restaurant website literally from scratch. I showed it to you. How can you make these sections? How can you, what was the customer psychology or, 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 or you know, designer psychology basically so that the customer can have a great experience when they're going through your website. I also taught you about, uh, you know, the principles of UX, UI at the same time, how to use the builder in the most efficient way possible, right? So you have seen all, all of it. I hope you guys are already learning from it and implementing it to build your own funnels and website for your own business or for your own clients, right? But in this video which is the part two of the free website design course in this video i'm going to show you how can you take the same home page which you created in the last training and convert that into a 110 percent mobile optimized format now ladies and gentlemen let me tell you this more than 80 to 90 percent of the traffic in your website your landing page on your funnels are going to come via mobile right mobile is the number one go-to device that people are using and the percentage of people using it are only going to increase they're not going to decrease right so you have to make sure that whatever you do in terms of web structures or web design they have to be 110 percent mobile optimized i mean i mean you can take chances on your desktop design but you cannot take chances on your mobile version and i've seen some, uh, some really big names have some really crappy mobile versions probably they are not paying much or probably they haven't hired somebody expert who can you know do the amazing stuff for them but in this video i'm going to equip you with all my knowledge with all my experience and show you live as to how can you take that design which you built on go high level in my last training and make this 110 percent mobile optimized let me just showcase you here right when you click on that hamburger menu all the uh, you know the menu options come in here right as you can see this is 100 percent mobile optimized looks very nice uh, and we are currently using as you can see on the top we're using iphone 14 pro max right and we have different versions of you using it but 14 pro max is going to be the idol because that's what a lot of people be using as well right as you can see the video looks stunning right the text looks stunning the buttons also look stunning right the text also suits very well when it comes to the uh you know uh, the timings of the opening timings of the restaurant right the photos looks very stunning and very well crafted this time right uh, so this looks and this gives a very pleasant experience for people and, and they have a good customer experience and because of that the user interface needs to be very good right so because of that as you can see the menu section as well looks really really nice right uh, everything is very well center aligned the menu is which is the heading is on the top there's a graphic there and then you have textures and all these texts are basically very well suited for mobile versions right again same, same goes for the food gallery again beautifully done looks amazing right then comes with the bbq brother story again very well structured looks pretty nice uh, then we have the events we host again look at these photos you guys they look so so beautiful right and they are very well structured that's the thing it's soothing to the eyes it has a better experience for the customers and probably they are going to convert better uh compared to uh, a mobile version that you might have doubled which is not that mobile friendly you know makes sense of course right then you have barbecue catering section and then you have this amazing beautiful testimonial section which i created last uh, in my last video i really really love this uh, and then you have this check our sister brands, right? And then you, of course, have the footer, right? So, I mean, all in all, I think this looks stunning and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So make sure that you watch the video till the end, right? Again, this is built on go high level. If you are not aware of go high level, then make sure that you go to the link, which is mentioned in the description below. Go high level is the all in one platform, which is going to help you build this stunning websites and funnels. Again, if you need an all in one marketing platform, then you must recommend, or I will must recommend you to go for high level. Uh, high level also has a 14 day free trial so you have nothing to lose so make sure that you join through my link because that's an affiliate link and when you join through my link i get to know about that and once you become a paying customer you get to have all my funnels top my top end funnels my website for absolutely free which i charge thousands of dollars for i mean it's a steel deal guys so you must consider going through it 
you must be thinking who is Pritham and why should I learn from him? If you haven't gone through the earlier video yet, which is the earlier training, then you can just go to PritamBhada.com and you will be able to see what do we do on a daily basis. So we are a go high level focused web design agency. We build uh, stunning funnels, website and landing pages for our 70 plus clients across the entire world. And we literally build 200 plus custom design projects. These are not, these are not any kind of, you know, pick and choose or, you know, copy paste kind of a thing or just, you know, simple things rather understanding what our customer marketing need is crafting uh, their story understanding their requirement understanding the customer avatar researching layouting designing developing and making sure it is 110 percent mobile optimized all of that jazz inside our services package which is amazing right you we have served a lot of six seven and eight figure clients and of course these are spread across 12 plus countries right um again you can watch my videos here as well right some of the top featured videos we will find it here right again if you want to know more about me further and want to see behind the scenes just go to facebook you will be able to uh see my facebook just type pritam bhadra i'm probably going to be the first one to come up uh right and you can see the profile here i'm also a go high level certified admin which basically means the people who are officially certified by go high level and this is the first certification program which i'm already a part of right and i'm also the first indian ever to be certified by go high level so that's a good achievement to have of course right um apart from that you can also go to our ghl template shop and learn more about the templates that we have designed for clients like you who wants to have template for themselves they're probably just starting out do not have thousands of dollars to invest that probably this is the place to go for because you will be able to find some amazing templates uh you know custom designed uh for a fraction of price i mean this is a, the go-to place for a lot of beginners and i'll highly recommend that right so let me close down everything because i'm going to show you everything on how to build this thing 100 percent mobile optimized so let me just go in there inside the build up right so as you might have seen you you as of now you might have already built the home page yet right and now you need to go into the uh, home website builder again in order to make it 110 percent mobile responsive right so it's going to take some time in order to load and then once it loads we are going to start with the mobile mode so as you can see here the uh you know the editor has loaded and this is what we built uh, on our last training right absolutely i showed you how to build this from scratch and now let's proceed forward to build this in 110 percent mobile version so in order to make it mobile version you have to click on this which is called as mobile mode so go high level gives you two modes which is desktop mode and mobile mode right there's also a third mode which we might have generally seen on other builders called as um the ipad the pad the pad mode all right so that is something that is not available in go high level but that is only uh in the, the tablet mode basically which is only used by less than one percent of the people in the entire world and Based on the traffic that's coming in, it's going to be either mobile or on desktop with 80 to 90 percent being only mobile. Right. So we are going to focus on that and go high level should be focused. I believe go high level should be focusing more on these things and getting into the depth, which they're already doing. And I really appreciate that uh, for their great team, for the Sean and everybody that is inside go high level. Now, let's go to the mobile mode. As you can see, this is not at all in order the way I want it or the way I showed you at least. Right. And we had to make sure that, uh, you know, this is 110 percent mobile optimized. Cool. So what I did was I just pulled up that uh, link where I can show it to you how it should be in mobile version. Right. Versus how it is currently now. Right. It doesn't look at, I mean, at all the way it should be. And if you are just making this, uh, this, uh, landing page of this website live that people are not going to have a good experience compared to if you customize it and if you custom build it again on the mobile mode then this is going to probably give them a better experience a better understanding and that will you know generate more inquiries or more sales depending on what is the uh, the call to action is right so that's what we are going to do here right and we're going to completely transform this into a hundred percent mobile version that we showed here right so let's understand about mobile version. What is mobile version? It is basically means that how it's going to look like when you take up your phone and then uh, see it in the mobile realistic. The, the key difference between having it in mobile and in desktop mode is very simple. The real estate or the size which is available on desktop mode is very different than what is available on the mobile mode. The mobile mode is very squeezed up. The mobile mode is very quick and people are only scrolling nowadays, right? Everybody on earth is just addicted to this. I mean, this is crazy addiction but because of this their attention time is also slowing down and you cannot afford to have ugly non-structured uh, mobile responsive pages so 
you know, you cannot afford that. And that's the reason why I want to show you that how can you make this better. So for that, we are going to do it section by section. So let's proceed for the first section, which is going to be the header section here, which is going to be the top section. Let me just inspect back and showcase you how it should be looking, right? So the first things first, we need to track the, uh, what we call as a navigation menu bar, which is the hamburger menu bar, right? We also need to make sure that uh, this is, um, you know, this is of yellow color because that's going to be visible. So for that, what we need to do is we need to make the icons or the text here, which is so icon color, as you can see here, this needs to be of the yellow color. So can we make this? Yes, we have made this. Just make it, let's say 17 should be good. Perfect. As you can see here, this is now uh, exactly like this. So I like it already. One of the other things that I need to be focusing on is going to be the sizing or the spacing, right? One thing that I told you, right, when we we're designing the desktop mode was that, hey, guys, you can use a lot of sizing or, or let's say spacing, margins, padding. Remember that? Margins and padding can be utilized in, in, in your free will when you're using something on the desktop mode is because that that is needed to give white space to it, right? The more white space you have, the more premium it's going to look, right? So that is something that needs to be taken care of when you're designing and building websites in the desktop mode. However, when you are doing it on the mobile mode, things need to be very well adjusted because too much of white spacing is not going to work out well for the simple reason that we did not have so much of space and we do not have people attention that they're gonna look for where exactly do I need to find out, right? If this is not appealing to them and they scroll a bit and they see that this is not what they're looking for or this is not an organized site, they're not going to take your website or your business seriously and you are definitely going to lose on sales, on customer or inquiries, on leads, whatever you're doing, right? So let's take the first thing here. Uh, so this which is going to be the first section here. As you can see, I've already added a lot of padding which was pre-added. So I'm just going to make sure that I do not have too much of padding in it. So I want to make sure that I'm making these 20 pixels as five pixels. Apart from that, one more thing that I should be focusing on is uh, again, the padding of these elements, which is the rows here. So I just want to make sure that they are also five pixels, right? Five pixels is good. By the way, one thing that you will be able to notice that, hey, this is margin and padding, margin and padding, right? And this it has a mobile icon to it, which basically means that whenever you're making any changes here, Right? It's only going to get implemented on the mobile mode and not going to get implemented on the desktop mode. And the, the reason why I can show it to you here is, as you can see, the logo is quite smaller. The text is quite smaller. And even the button is organized on a top and bottom fashion. Compared to if you see on the desktop mode, then this is much bigger. The, the, the logo is much bigger. And the buttons are organized on a horizontal mode. So that difference needs to be identified and needs to be added onto your uh, you know, landing page or on your mobile version of it. So here's the thing, when you click on this section of this column here, you will be able to see there is a 60 pixel padding. So I definitely do not want that. I also want the logo to be a bit smaller. Probably 150 should be good, right? I think this is also 150, yeah. Uh, one more thing that I need to be focusing on is the text size. As you can see, the text size here is, um, can I see this? Yeah, it's only 16 pixels. So I'm just gonna make sure this is also 16 pixels. Okay, I think 16 is too less. They are not able to identify that, but that's perfectly fine because I'm going to make it almost 24. I think 24 should be good. Uh, or probably can make this a bit better as well. Probably 28 should be good, right? Yeah, I think 28 should be good. And I uh, have to add some spacing on top of it. So let's say I add a bit of spacing. So there was already already 60, which I made 10. Now I'm just making this 20 just to make sure I have some spacing uh, in it. So 25 is fine. Um, for the buttons, what I need to do here is I, uh, so if you change anything on the, <clears throat> so if you're not duplicated the entire thing, which I normally recommend, then what's going to happen is that if you make any structural changes, not madding and uh, margin and padding changes, because for margin, margin and, sorry, <laughs> for margin and padding, you have something called as, you know, they can adapt to based on a desktop and mobile mode. But if you make structural changes, right? Let us get very clear. Structural changes basically means the structure of this column with this there with this op mobile these buttons are on a horizontal mode. If you make a structural change and make this top and bottom, then it is also going to get reflected on the mobile mode as well as on the desktop mode. Because the way this um, no code device, which is Goha level, perceives the mobile mode is a bit different than how it perceives the desktop mode. It tries to adjust based on its own. Uh, um, 
uh, coding, but that's not what we want. We want to customize a bit further. So what we are going to do here is very simple. We're going to duplicate this entire column, right? And then go to advanced section and make it only mobile, or only desktop, sorry. And I'm going to take the second one, which I just duplicated and make it only desktop, sorry, only mobile. Now what happens is this, as you can see here, has this, uh, has this uh, phone icon to it. Can you see that? which even symbolizes that, hey, this is only on the desktop mode. This is also what is visible on the right hand side. It shows the visibility is only for the mobile and not for the desktop. In this case, what you can do is you can just make it center aligned, which is what I was planning to do anyways. So I'll just make all of these center aligned. And one more thing that I want to do here is I just want to reduce the text size here because I believe they are way bigger than what I was expecting. So just make it this 16 and I think that should be perfect here, right? So uh, also there is a lot of spacing at the bottom here as well. So I do not want that at all. Uh, as you can see, there are 60 pixels of spacing, which we added it on the desktop mode, which will be perfectly fine, but that's not going to work when you're doing it on the mobile mode. So I'm just going to make it 10 pixels, right? So that's how this is going to look at. Let me just see. Okay, this has quite a bit of padding. This has quite a bit of padding. I think they have equal padding between each other. So let me see what is the padding level that they have. They have this 10 within this. Uh, okay, probably what I can do here is I can make this 20 just to have a bit of or uh, probably 30 as well. I think 30 should be good. Yep, 30 should be good. Let me just quickly preview it and showcase to you how this is going to look like, right? So that we can uh, do a bit of comparison as well. So this is the original one and this is the new one that we are working on. Okay, cool. Let me just see. I think they look pretty similar. There is not much difference. Of course, there is a difference of the heighting. So probably they have a bit of spacing on the top, which is giving them a better, uh, you know, better, a better line height, right? So I'm going to get that done as well. So I'm just going to make sure that I'm adding a bit of, so they have like 20. I'm just going to make sure that this is 30. And for this one, I'm going to make sure that this is like 30, 35. I think that's pretty much that that's that's more than enough uh, and the simplest way to check is very simple you just have to save it and instead of keep creating new links you just can you know just uh, refresh this and that's going to work out as well well I think this looks stunning this looks uh, how I want it so I can just proceed forward now now the next thing that you will be able to find here is uh, these uh, timings as well as these photographs in these photographs are nothing but the photographs are uh, to showcase what we have in our restaurant just to you know grab the attention the way we, we, we used to do it for our testimonials for our fitness testimonials we used to showcase people who are fit right uh, or who got a uh, fit by our our training or our program or whatever it is right so i just want to make sure that that is also followed here so i'm just going to make sure okay one more thing uh this section here if you remember that how we designed it this section here is a standalone section compared to this section here which is a, a section in itself. So we need to duplicate, uh, we, we don't need to duplicate the first one, we just need to duplicate the second one because the second one has structural changes in it. But I cannot duplicate this because I have some like negative padding to it. So I'm just going to make sure that I remove the negative padding just for the sake of duplicating the entire structure. Uh, I duplicated that. Now I will make it the way it was, which was minus 70 pixels. So, so that it doesn't affect the desktop mode. And I'm also going to make sure that this is only visible on the desktop mode only, right? The second thing that I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to make this 110%, uh, sorry, the entire section I should be choosing. I should, I will be making this only visible on the mobile mode because I'll be making structural changes to it. Go high level at this point of time is not yet adapting to structural changes. It's only adapting to mobile and desktop version based on the margin and padding. So, ba so basically the spacing changes are only being taken care of. So for structural changes, I want to make it mobile friendly, right? I think that looks perfect. What else? Uh, okay, this didn't go well. Oh, okay. I added minus 70 on the margin, sorry, on the section levels. This is something that you need to also consider guys. We're focusing on that which element you're using it and how you're using it to be able to get the uh, desired results, right? Yeah, that looks like what we wanted. So let's proceed forward with this. Okay. So now as you can see that we have all the, uh, you know, images here, which is fine. I'm going to work on that. Uh, for this one, which is a section here, I'm just going to make sure that this is 10 because I do not need uh, so much of padding and spacing between all of these things. 
is 42 probably I'm just making a 32 and see how that's going to look like is it similar to what it is yes it's similar to what it is um i'm good with this uh for this one i'm just going to make this 16 and i'm probably going to add a 10 pixel of padding onto it i think the spacing in between this is a bit too much and the, probably the reason why we have 20 pixel of padding which we added when we're creating the desktop mode now since we have not duplicated the entire section because we're only going to work on the padding and margin now how do you know that Pritam, i'm only going to work on the padding and margin and not the structural changes for that you need to pre-understand even before changing things otherwise you're, go you're going to be in a mess and you're going to take a lot of time a lot of people ask me that hey Pritam, you're going to build this funnel so fast i mean see i'm building this funnel so fast because first of all it's already built i know what to do the structure is already laid out the design and graphics is already laid out the content is already laid out uh the strategy and the planning is already laid out i'm just building this stuff and the second thing is it's been three years three years of me working on this uh, funnels and website and go high level for every single day so that takes some time and expertise i believe that if you start working today or at least even if not three years probably you can do faster than me probably in one year or two years so it depends right but definitely going to take some ex uh, time and experience on your end in order to be able to achieve uh you know a better result or a faster deliverability so yeah anyways uh as you can see here we have a lot of spacing in there we do not want any kind of spacing we just want to make it zero that's perfect i think this is what we are looking for and it's very similar to what we want so we have achieved that as well now for this image thing like kind of an image gallery i won't like to say this image gallery just to show off as to you know this, this is what we have right kind of banners on on before you enter a hotel something like that okay okay now this is very well you know in very beautifully laid out into a one into a two 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 uh, fashion which is one is on the left one is on the right same goes for one one on the left one on the right and they have like a uh, one row two column structure and like this here they have like three uh they have repeated this three times uh so when i say they it's just me <laughs> okay so um what you need to do is you need to click on the columns okay in order to understand that how can you because uh, by default go high level did this in the vertical fashion which basically means stacking one image on top of each other even though uh, the images here are horizontally layout that's how go high level is designed to do but we are uh, are going to use our own methods and own styles to you know counter what go high level is doing so that we can design according to our expertise and our knowledge so that's what we are going to do we're going to click on the mobile mode and then we are going to click on the column not the section not the rows the column okay then we're going to come down to the settings part as you can see here something called as uh, column layout and uh, just below this you will find content alignment content alignment is vertical which basically means that any content which is inside that column is going to be placed vertically on top of each other makes sense right if you change this to a horizontal mode then any content placed inside that particular column is going to be placed horizontally makes sense so that's what we need to do despite this being you know a mobile mode or desktop mode so as you can see here uh this is this does not make any change because the only thing or the only content piece which you are which we have inside this column right which we change the settings for to be horizontal is this particular image but what if i, I take this image and i drag it inside it as you can see here that now they are placed on the left hand side and on the right hand side a lot of big names right that i'm going to still i'm going to soon uh, reveal and i'm going to you know create some uh uh you know create some uh review videos on on, on the funnel in the website that they have built these big names in the world and i'm probably going to help them uh, help you understand that what are the mistakes they are doing or the agencies that they have hired to build the funnels and website that they are doing which you should not as an expert right so yeah anyways i have this thing already laid out which i believe looks pretty nice but i want to have some spacing guys spacing is super important and crucial a lot of people do not value it and they tend to mess it up i understand that but in this scenario i look at it this looks stunning man i love it okay let's go to the second column in the second column what you're going to do here is we're going to again make it horizontal and then place these images on with each other again we're going to do the same thing which is going to be i'm going to add some margins which is 10 pixel is more than enough again we are going to do the same thing here make it horizontal right and then add the images again these are stock images so when you're using it for your own restaurant make sure to add your own images oops 
okay sometimes it's a bit messy okay but sometimes i can do it i got it done awesome so let's add 10 pixels to this yep just remove the one never have something which is single so you can add one more to it or you can just remove it because when you have a two and two alignment let's not add something which is one okay makes sense because you have two and two two and two two and two you don't want a single one at the bottom uh now we are going to proceed forward by the way this looks stunning to me uh just look at it this is very similar to what we have it here and what we have it here lovely right i hope that you understood about this because this is a crucial understanding to make things mobile optimized if you're not making things mobile optimized people are not going to have think about it right earlier what we built here right so what we built here right in order to just go through these photographs they have to scroll so much so much just staring at these photos right but here you are giving the same information in a concise manner because you understand that mobiles do not have a lot of spacing in it and people would like to grab as much information possible even though it is visually stunning and still you want to make it uh, as easy as quick as possible right so that they can have the motivation to you know you know see new things which the new things basically means the new section right so compare this to this right this is much better in terms of the ux ui of course the ui is better the, because the ui is better the ux is going to be better because the ux is going to be better the conversion rate is also going to be better based on whatever metrics that you're going to plan it for now let's proceed forward and let's do for the menu part which is going to be this one right so let's proceed forward to the desktop mode now for this i am going to duplicate the entire thing and as you can see once i duplicated i got a duplicate copy of that now for this one i'm going to take this and make one of this only desktop visible and the second one is going to be only mobile visible right the reason why i'm doing this is because i need to configure a few things which is going to be the menu right? the, how they are aligned as you can see the image is on the left the menu the text and all of it is on the right which kind of looks nice on the desktop mode but this isn't going to look nice on the mobile mode i'm going to show you right away and, and then i will show you that why i changed it right so first things first as you can see here uh uh so the graph the photo is here right but i want the menu to be on the top right because i want the section when it's starting out i want the name of the section or what the section is all about because i do not want the audience or the visitor or the customer to come and say okay this is yet another picture based on these ones you know doesn't make sense so for that, what I want is I want the menu to be on the top so that it can declare that, hey, you have entered the menu section, right? So I want that to happen as well. So just take this headline on top of it, top of this, make sure this is central line. Uh, make sure instead of 52, just make it 32, right? Uh, I think 32, yeah, I think 32 is fine. I'll just make it 42, no worries. 40 is also fine, yep. Uh, we also have that sketch at the background, can you see that? The sketch is already there in the background i like it uh, probably what i'm going to do here is i'm going to make a uh, full center but i do not know how it's going to look like uh i don't think this this looks looks better or looks nicer probably no repeat uh no i just want to make sure this is 100 percent width that's all so this is going to at least turn up because the, anyway the visual spacing at the background is very less so this is just going to give it a touch because this, the spacing because as you can see here or on the desktop mode all right i just want to show you on the desktop mode there is a lot of spacing at the back end which you can visually see and can grab your attention so for that we're adding some sketches just in order to make it lively have depth effect but a lot of these principles do not or i will say not 100 percent is workable on the mobile mode uh and you have to understand that also so that's there um as you can see here what we're going to do here is we're going to make it central line and all these text on the left line side so we're going to take this and we're going to make this 20 and let's just make it central line same goes for these one i'm going to make it 16 i'm going to make sure this is evenly spread and um, these things also needs to be 16. so i just want to make sure everything is 16 16 and 16. perfect i think this look looks stylish and then you have the view our menu again the view our menu is uh, on the left align i want to make sure this is right align or center align i like the fact that they have also this something called as the button alignment so that and it's, it's now responsive for mobile and desktop so that's something that you should be 
in a happy fork. Now for this, what we want to do is instead of making it 18, I also want to make it 16. Okay, now I like it because now it's very similar to what it is here. So in here you have that menu which declares that, hey, you're now entering into the menu section. You have the photo of people looking and going through their menu. So that confirms or reassures the visitor. And then they, uh, then you have written welcome to our smokehouse delight and you have all the text and then you have a short, short thing about what you serve and then view our menu. Perfectly laid out, thinking about what the customer is going to think or the visitor is going to think because that's what you should be ultimately entitled to. Right. Uh, let's go to the food section or the food gallery. I think we do not need to duplicate it because it's quite simple. And for this, I just want to make it 42. Um, just want to take care a bit of about spacing. And I think that should be it for this one. Oops, I just want to make it zero. I probably, uh, yep, step on the wrong one. So yeah, that's pretty much it, right? And this cannot be in the left and right. So this has to be in the top and bottom uh, or, or, or top and bottom structure. What you can do in this is probably you do not want, uh, let's say you do not want these four uh, sliders. So in that case, what you can do is you can click on the first one, right? And then instead of having three slides, you can add more slides to it. So let's say you have 10, uh, you know, images that you want to showcase. So instead of having uh, three here, which we had here, like three each, like three images, three images, three images, and three images. What you can do here is you can customize this further and you can add uh, the remaining seven into the slide as, you know, slide four, five, six, seven, right? Eight, nine, ten, right? And then you only have food gallery once, which scrolls down at a faster space. So probably, uh, you know, it is currently set at um, five seconds. You can make it three, two, and one, depending on how quick you want it. But for now, we're just going to leave, the, leave this here, right? Now we are entering into the BBQ Brother story, which is the our story of the business story section, where we are going to uh, be focusing on how we can make this stunning again. Now, again, for this one as well, I highly recommend that you duplicate the entire thing because we have some external or uh, the, uh, the, you know, the graphics at the bottom um, the below it basically, which I am going to be focusing on a lot. So let's go to the advanced section and make it uh, desktop only. And let's go to the advanced section again and make it mobile only. So let's go to the mobile section and let's recreate the entire thing to make it nicer. We just want to make sure that the photo is uh, just below this text here. And the text here needs to be a 42 pixels with a center alignment. Also, the graphic here, I do not like it. I'm probably going to make it uh, full center because when you make this full center, I think that is what they have done or I have done earlier. Yep, that's what they have done. Uh, but I really like this. Uh, probably I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to make the background opacity uh, a half. The reason being we have text here already and I do not want to sabotage that. So let's do that. And for the sub headline, I want to make it center line. I want to make this 20. And for the text here, I want to make this 16, right? I think that looks pretty, pretty nice. For the button here, I also want to make it center line. At the same time, I want to make the text as 16. That's it, right? And I think this looks pretty nice. Uh, we also have some spacing to this. Uh, probably I'm going to just make it, you know, 10 pixels because it doesn't make sense to have so much of spacing in there. So that's taken care of. Let me just see how this looks. I think this looks very similar to what we were doing. Uh, and this is 16, right? I think I like it. So this is an extra column, which now you can see. And the reason for the extra column is very simple. Earlier, we had this image. Now we are having everything in one column. So we do not need that anymore. So we can just simply delete it because this is only on desktop mode, which is super crucial. Because if you delete this, then, and this is not on the desktop mode, or on the mobile more exclusively, then by accident, you're going to delete all a lot of these things which you do not want at all, right? So that's the reason why it's super crucial to have things desktop and mobile only. Now, one more thing that I want to do here is I want to make sure the spacing is correct. So just want to make this 10, right? Okay, that's taken care of. Now we have come to the section called as events we host. And this is, again, we have something that we're going to work on. Again, as you can see, the image is on top of each other, which we do not like. Or rather, we want to do something where the image is like, you know, on the left, right, left, right. I like the structure, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, should we need to duplicate this? I, I, I don't think so. 
I don't think so. We need to duplicate this. Uh, probably yes, because we're going to change this here. So yeah, let's duplicate this because that's going to be better because we're going to make structural changes, right? So you, the question that you need to ask is whether am I making structural changes which is supported by Go High Level or not? If the structural changes that you're making is not supported by Go High Level, then you duplicate it. If it is supported by Go High Level, then you do not need to duplicate it. As simple as that, right? So here I'm going to take this and make sure it's 10 uh, I'm also going to uh, probably zero I do not uh, need so much of spacing at all right uh, here I'm going to make this 42 right and same goes for here I'm going to make this 16 right love it uh, now as you can see here these two bullet points or the, the second this element right they're kind of crashing into each other right so they should be having some spacing because if you just check on their desktop mode you will be able to see that they have some constant amount of spacing which separates them or the one point from the other point but you do not have this on your uh, mobile mode right so what you do here is very simple you select the bottom column and then you go to margin and you add a 20 pixel of margin as simple as that one more thing that you need to be focusing on on the columns is uh, oops yeah uh, uh, sorry on the element is there's too much of padding on the left and right so just make sure that the padding is also taken care of right same goes for this one as well 10 so they have like 20 20 just make it 10 i think that should be good here one more thing that you should be doing is just make it 16 yep i like it you can also make it evenly spread so that's just one way of making it look look good so yeah, you can do it whether they have done it no they have not done it so let's <laughs> let's not do it right okay uh just make it left align i think that should be good Cool. So we have done, uh, we have completed this part as well. Now comes the tricky part, which is going to be the uh, the images, right? So this is basically the events that they conduct. So when you have some events going on, you take pictures, your restaurant take pictures. And I want to show that. And I want to show that nicely because you do not want this to be an endless scroll of images and images and images. People are going to get bored out of it, especially in the mobile mode, right? So, uh, I mean, for the, for the desktop mode, it's still fine because you have something like this. So you can quickly take a lot of information and understand this but that's not going to work when you're doing it on the mobile mode right so that's the reason why we have this two 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 structure so what we need to do again is very simple we're going to click on the first column here we are going to make sure this is horizontal which is the content alignment the content spacing here is instead going to be you know, spacing is still fine so we're going to take that second image i'm going to drop that up i'm going to select the second image make sure the margin on the left hand side is a 10 pixel right lovely that's how you need to make sure that hey the images are all properly structured so that people can see the image that's point number one see the image in the less least amount of time point number two and has a great experience that hey this is something that they like uh so that's what you should be taking care of uh, again we need to make this horizontal right and then take the images and add up here Oops. so <laughs> i get frustrated on this sometimes because i just can't get to get hold of these images but that's okay You know, I just want to make sure that I also have added a 10 pixel of margin to it, not padding margin to it. And I'll duplicate all the, uh, sorry, delete all the unnecessary things. Uh, check the latest events. For that, I want to make sure this is 16 pixels. And one more thing that I want to do here is I want to, it has like 10, 40 pixels here. So I just want to make sure that this is only 10 pixels. Let me just quickly help you understand that nothing has changed on the desktop mode, but everything has changed on the mobile mode, which looks stunning to me again. Right, I like it. Uh, let's proceed forward to the next section so that we can get that done as well. So cool. Uh, the next section is a bit different compared to what we did already because the next section has something which is the background image, right? As you can see here that the background image itself becomes the hero image on this because we have not added any element which kind of shows and comes up as the hero image on the left hand side already. So in this case, we have to make sure that we showcase the image at least partially and then showcase the text as well. So we just need to duplicate this entire thing. Uh, again, make sure this is because you're going to make structural changes again, guys. So any structural changes has to be and if it's not supported by go high level, then it has to duplicate it. So I'm just coming up with my own SOPs and I think my SOPs are kind of working, right? So yeah, I like it. So what you need to do here is you need to take this entire um, uh, uh, um, uh, section, right? And then go to the general part and then make sure that this is not a full center, make it 100% center. 
So when you make this 100% center, you get the hero image still on the top, which I really like it. And then I want to take the heading here and I want to make it like 42, right? So that it become, I want to make it centered, right? And I want to give this a padding because as you can see here, uh, the image ends here, right? Since the image ends here, there is a sharp borderline, even though you cannot really find it on the right hand side, but you can really find it on the left hand side. So I'm going to just overcome that with a bit of padding by keeping the text between the borderline. Um, yep, that's pretty much it. Let's make it 24. Uh, let's make it 29. Perfect, right? I like it. Um, so here what we need to do is a simple that we used to do. We just want to make it 16 pixels. I think that should sort out sort out the issue. And I think this looks nice. We're also going to make this a central line. And for this one, it has to be 16 pixels. Right. So that's pretty much done for the catering as well. I really like how it's going to come up. Now the, the, the most important and the beautiful part, which is going to be the testimonials, right? So I really focus a lot on the testimonials here because that's quite long and we have a few more sections and things to do. But the testimonial section is super important for a sim simple reason that, hey, as you can see, they're kind of clashing into each other. And I have seen this into endless funnels and website designed by, you know, so-called big agencies. But they kind of do not want to focus on the simplest things, which is, Again, the crucial things you need to be able to understand the first point, uh, how it is done and why it is important. And second, that it has to be there because your clients are not only paying you for the desktop version, but also for the mobile version. And probably the mobile version is more important than the desktop version because a lot of the traffic is going to come up. I can show you a beautiful website and landing page, which kind of looks really nice uh, on the desktop mobile screenshot. But if it is not 100% mobile optimized, guess what's gonna happen? It's not going to look good and people are not gonna appreciate that, especially the visitors, the customers, the prospects, right? So I don't want to just make sure that that is taken care of. So I'm just gonna show you that as well. First things first, of course, we are going to make sure that this is going to be 42 pixels, which is going to be the headline. Right now I'm going to work on all these things step by step. Am I going to create a duplicate of this? Who's going to answer this question? Can you answer this question? Should I be creating a duplicate of this? Yes or no? Uh, am I making any kind of structural changes that the Go High Level does not support? Yes or no? If I'm making any kind of structural changes, then I need to be duplicating, right? If I'm not making any structural changes, then I should not be duplicating, right? So what is your answer? Take a three second of pause and, and, and think about it and let me know. Done, right? The answer is very simple that no, I am not going to create a, a, a duplicate section for this because the only thing that I need to be focusing on here is spacing, right? And as you can see, margin and padding is being supported by Go High Level in different versions. So I did not, I did not need to make it, I not to duplicate it and then make structural changes because there is no structural changes and then make the visibility on, off, on, off, right? So here's what I'm going to do just quickly to make sure that you uh, really, really take a note on this, right? The first thing is going. To, I'm going to select the first column here, right? The first column here, right? And everything that I'm going to do is going to be either text size or going to be the margin and padding size. That's it, right? So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a padding of 10 pixels on the left hand side and 10 pixels on the padding, not margin, right? Because when I add padding, because it impacts everything that's inside that margin, or sorry, inside that column, right? So when you add an inside padding, uh, of the column, then everything inside gets squeezed down with a 10 pixel margin to it. Can you see that? Right. So that's super important. Apart from that, what I need to do is I need to make it 16 pixels. So that's crucial. Right. Um, and then I want to just take this I think image is perfectly fine. So the one thing that I need to do is, as you can see, this is crashing down on each other and I cannot take a get, get a hold of this. So what I need to do is I need to select the second column and then I'm going to add a 40 pixel of spacing onto it. Uh, probably 60 as well as you're going to look right. Uh, yeah, 60. The reason for this 60 is very simple. I do not have a lot of space for it. And this flame is kind of, you know, overpowering it. So I'll just take care of that. And here also I'll just add a 10 pixel of padding to it. Right. Awesome. I'm going to repeat the same process for this one as well. So I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to add a 10 pixel of padding to it. Not a margin, right? A side padding to it. And then I'm going to, okay, one more thing that I want is this, the Sara D, right? This is 20. I just want to make sure this is, so 23. Um, I'm going to make it 20. That's it. I don't want to make it too big. 
again the text here is going to be 16 pixels again i'm just using the fonts as well as the padding here the margin padding here so all of these are supported by go high level so i need not do any kind of structural changes so any one of you or so many of you must have answered that hey Pritam, you you do not need to make structural changes congratulations you are right but if you are th you thought that you have to make structural changes the answer is no because it is supported by go high level as of till date like probably in the future everything will be supported by go high level in desktop and mobile mode so we do not have to do it on mobile and desktop and take so much of time makes sense let's proceed forward on this um what else what else what else yeah again this is going to be 20 pixels so that needs to be taken care of again yeah I think this is, this looks perfectly fine. Let's proceed forward to the next one, right? So here it's very hard to even select it. Oops, I deleted it by mistake. Okay, um, I was going to select it again, and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a padding to it. It's going to be 10, 10 pixels on the left, 10 pixels on the right, and then I'm going to make sure that this is 100% uh, uh, with 18 pixels of of the spacing. Sorry, or 16 pixels of the spacing. This looks good. Okay, now I'm going to go to the second column and then I'm going to add a, you know, of 60 pixels of of margin to it. And then again, I'm adding 60 pixel margin to it, but honestly, trust me, nothing is going to be impacted on the desktop mode because again, this is only on mobile and Google understands that. So here as well, it's 23, just make it 20. Perfect. Same goes for this one as well. Let's put forward and let's make it 10. Let's make it 10. Let's go inside. Let's make it 16, right? And let's draw the name here is again mm, mm, 20. That's it. Uh, okay, <laughs> we are still happy with this one. So let's 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 do it, right? Click on this, and then click on um, again. Sorry, no margin. So what happens when you click on margin is it's going to just drag left and right, and that's not going to be a, a nice way of doing it. So we just want to make sure this is a zero and the padding here is not taken care of with 10 and the padding on the right side is also taken care of by 10. Uh, the This thing here font size needs to be 16 and then we also want to make sure that the bottom one is has uh, almost under 60% or 60 pixel of uh, spacing onto it. Then we are also going to make sure that the fonts are correctly added to it. So let's do it for, for the final time for this desktop mode. Sorry, for this last testimonial, which is going to be 10% on both the ends as padding. And then let's make this 16 pixels here. Right. The texture is again is going to be at 20 pixels. Right. Again, I think we have achieved what we wanted, guys. I love this. I love how it's going to look like because it's going to be very similar to what we wanted here. So kudos to you guys. Who have been who's you know, watching these videos and implementing it you're going to rock one day and i'm pretty sure about that and if you do do let me know about it i'm going to be i'm going to be really happy to hear that you talked it but anyways um yeah let's go to the second part which is which is the last part which is going to be this one so there's something that i probably missed which is going to be check out our sister brands i probably missed adding that text here so i'm just going to add that here i'm going to add a one row column into this right and then i'm going to make it to go to the top right um cool i'm just now going to add the text here just drag and drop but sometimes it's irritating right so this is going to be check out our sister brands sorry Cool, I think this is perfectly fine. Uh, okay, we're good to go for the mobile world now. Okay, now again, can somebody tell me that whether am I going to make a structural change on this or not? Take three seconds and let me know. Because if I make, make a structural change that I'm going to copy it or duplicate it, if I do not make a structural change, then I do not need to copy it because it's already supported by Go High Level. What do you think about it? The answer, if, if you have answered that, hey, Pritam, you will be making some structural changes on this, so you have to duplicate. You are right. 
But if you're thinking that, hey, Pritam, you do not need to do it, then the answer is wrong because I want to make sure that the image is on the top and the text is at the bottom. Same goes for here. But if you want to take the image on the top, then it has to be on the left and the text has to be on the right. And for that reasons, there needs to be a structural change and structural change is not yet supported by Go High Level. And because of that, I have a duplicate. Probably I will just be duplicating this column. So you might be partially right. But hey, let's again, we have to duplicate it. So probably I just need to duplicate this one. So I'll just duplicate this one because that's the only thing that is an obstacle for me. In terms of structural change but at the end of the day you are making the change so you need to be taking care of that as well so what team needs to be here is you just need to make sure that this is on the left hand side and then click on this and make sure this is only on available on mobile let's proceed forward and let me show it to you how this looks like again this looks beautiful just want to make it this 42 which is already there image is there looks fine i just want to see how that looks okay okay this looks 26 i'm going to make it 20 already is fine and for this one i want to make it 16. right the same goes for this one as well i'm going to make it uh 20. i think 20 20 is too less i'm going to make it 24. i think this is fine this again it should be 24. this should be 16. And this I think is 20 is perfectly fine so yeah that's pretty much it how it looks i probably can reduce it a bit further but I do not know whether I should be doing it. I think this looks this looks nice. I think this looks nice. Let's keep it that way. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, about and then you have the uh, bottom section, which is this one, and you have everything here. All is already uh, mobile optimized, so you do not need to focus a lot on it. I think we are completed now. Uh, so yeah, guys. So we we will just complete everything on the desktop on the mobile mode, right? So let me preview it and let me showcase to you guys so that you can also have a look at this. Just going to save and once it's saved, it's going to preview, which is already doing now. Just going to remove this one. Awesome. Let's now go to the inspect section and okay. Cool. As you can see here, this is how it looks in 14 Pro Max. As you can see on the top, if I select it, let's say Samsung Galaxy 2020 S20 Ultra. Then okay, I need, probably I need to just refresh this a bit. Yeah, now I need to select S20 Ultra. Yep, this is how it looks on S20 Ultra, right? Um, then again, probably 12 Pro. Okay, I need to refresh this again. Okay, now I need to select 12 Pro, and then this is how it looks in 12 Pro. Like so, switch back to 14 Pro, I think. But for that, I'll refresh again, and switch back to 14 Pro. 14 Pro Max, right? So this is how it looks in the mobile mode, and this is how it looks in the mobile mode as well, right? Really liking it. It's very similar to what we wanted. And you click on this. Oh, okay. This is something that I need. I fo I thought I forgot about. So I need to focus on that. So when you click on this, right, it has this wide background, and when you hover on this, it it kind of disappears, right? So we don't want that. First thing that we want to do here is we want to make sure the mobile background has an overlay in it. So we want to do this first, right? So now when we hover on this, so if I click on this and when I hover on these, okay, this is not going to show up because um, I do not have a cursor in there, right? But uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what else? What else? Text mm -hmm, mm -hmm. information is fine. I think everything looks fine. Let's proceed forward and let's just save that. I really like it. I think we are all done. Let me just uh, give me give give a you know I'm gonna refresh right now. As you can see here, you can see home menu catering about, but now you have a darker shade to it, which is also called as home overlays, right? So now you can see the these texts better, and you can click on it, and then you can do your own thing the way you want to do it. You can also in, you increase the size a bit here, and the way to do it is very simple. Um, you need to go to the general settings, and then come down, and then you can see something called as menu item spacing options, and here it's something called as vertical spacing. So if you just increase that a bit then it's going to look nicer right let me just save that right so one thing that it, it actually does is when you increase the 17 pixels it's going to increase that menu vertical spacing here as well so if you are using some if you're not duplicating things and highly recommend it make it as small as possible uh depending on how you want it so probably 15 is going to be better Yep, 
Yep, looking nice. Let me just save that as well. So it's almost saved now. Let me just give it a quick refresh so you guys can take a look at it. Yeah, now, now just click on this one. Yep, now they are evenly spaced. You can squeeze things up. You can expand it depending on how you want it, right? I think this looks really nice and you can even scroll down, but the thing is it's going to stay on that because that's an overlay. You also have, you also see this, uh, sorry. So you also see this cross option. So when you click on that, then that the menu option goes away. So you have this home, you have this order, you have this order now. Okay, sorry, this is the, again, duplicated stuff. Sorry about that. This is probably going to be order now and catering. So, okay. Yep, this is going to be catering. I just want to save that as well. Yeah, one more thing that you can see, right? So once you added catering to it, right, the spacing here is not even. So you have to manually go uh, and add some spacing to it. So probably just want to make it 60 and just make it 60. Okay, not 60 in that case. Um, in that case, I think 50 should be fine. Perfect. I think this looks really nice. Let me save that and let me just preview you once again. Sounds like a plan. Let me just refresh that. Awesome. Now you can see here they have catering, they have auto menu, and they have the three buttons. When you hover this, this is there. Right. When you hover, when you scroll down, then you can see everything is very well organized. You can get a lot of information in a very structured and small format. You have the menu section here done very well. You have the food gallery. Again, the tip I gave you for the food gallery is you can make this exclusively only for the mobile mode. And then instead of having these four, uh, you know, uh, four sliders, you can have one slider and add all of the images as multiple images on the slider. So instead of instead of three here, you can will have like nine, 10, 15, depending on how you want it. Right. Then you can have the BBQ uh, brother sections. Um, again, looks very stunning. I like the graphic at at you know at uh, the bottom here. But we have added some dark overlays to it to structure it down. Refresh that a bit as well. Yep. Nice. So now then we move to the events we host. Right again, we have added our spacing in there because you know we, we just use the uh, margin and, and padding which is again natively available in go high level again this looks pretty neat and clean and sleek right and then we have the barbecue catering section where the hero image is again uh, visible clearly and we've used the barbecue catering in a very nice way here you have the text here then learn more again the testimonial section which is my the most important part for me again looks really really stunning i really really like it so that's taken care of then check out our sister brands that's also been taken care of and again finally the testimonial section i love it so that's how ladies and gentlemen you need to design uh, everything on the mobile mode make sure that you have implemented this on this because it's super crucial doing things on go high level make sure 110 percent mobile optimized because a lot of important and premium traffic is coming in there and you want to make sure that they have a good experience at least when they come on your landing page on your website i hope that you like this video because on our next video i'm going to show you how to create the menu section as well as mobile optimize it in a single video that's going to be again a, a shorter video so make sure that you watch that and that's going to coming up very soon thank you so much for watching it by the way all the links of these tutorials or these parts of this course is available in the description so make sure that you go ahead and check them check them first if you haven't already take care see you soon